All right, so welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you are enjoying the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But anyways, we're back to some Mabinogi. The calm. Wait, the wood. The, I said, damn, I just said it correctly last time. The calm. Is it the waves amidst the calm? Yeah. So we're continuing on that voice crack as we're about to find this guy's dead chick. Which is sad because I hate when I see dead animals, even on the road. It kills me. But we gotta do what we gotta do to save the rest of these people in Avengem. Once again, Braille leans in and sprinkles you with her luminescent powder. Apologies if you're allergic to magic powder or anything, but as you probably guessed, my talented assistant asked me to sprinkle you with this again. Now, let's be off, Ursula. You and Brielle heads into Crombass once more. The creeping chill washes over you as you push open the heavy door. Damn, I kind of wish there was a hide HUD button. I can, I can just use this as a thumbnail, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you think we'll find the little chick the ghost was looking for here? If this map is accurate, it should be closed by now. That 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 corpse over there, that must that must be who you were talking about, Ursula. How can you tell? I don't think I ever get used to rummaging through a dead man's pocket, but I guess the spirit did give us permission as a sort of final request. Your luck is probably getting worried, wondering what's taking us, so let's look and see if we can find anything, then head back. Anyways, the sooner we get this over, the better. Hello, Brielle. It's a trap. It's still a trap. How can it not be a trap? Look at this. Hmm, let's see. Strange, based on what the ghost told you, it should definitely be on the person somewhere, or at least in the general area. Yeah, yeah, it's what's what, what the heck? Seriously, did they booby trap the corpse? Ursula, watch out! To think they even used the body of the dead to throw at us. I mean, I feel like that's the least of your worry. If they're willing to sacrifice a bunch of innocent people, especially animals kids and then the adults i feel like this wouldn't be underhanded for them you know what they say go hard or go home they're they're, they're definitely going hard the thoughts of the foe you defeat begin seeping into your mind here's to be information regarding the castle did you feel that just now Ursula? it wasn't just me some sort of knowledge about the castle just sort of flashed into my mind. I think we may be able to learn more about this place and what we're up against as we deal with the foes we run into here. This disquieting energy hangs in the air. You sense more trouble is headed your way. Ursa, if it looks like we got a second group incoming and a larger than the first from the sound of it, don't let your guard down. Where, where's my... God damn! Fuck! Time out! Time out! Let me soul link. All right, also give me this. Oh my God, that was a terrible choice. I made a mistake. I'm so squishy, but the damage. Fuck. Am I? Yo, I can't tell. Do I have? Okay, I have it now. I can't see with the thing. Why did they give me this great tent in this thing? Oh, I, did I not change my buttons? This sucks ass. Damn, I also don't have my Dimmy God powers. Uh, let me revive you. What? What? Why, why can't I revive? What the fuck? Wait, I have feathers, right? 
And it's not just a stupid ruling. Yeah, I don't have feathers. Damn it. I was worried. Because I was like, wait. If you can't use potions in here, can you not use feathers too? Is that not a thing? Oh, whoa, 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 what's that? Turco doesn't seem good. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, I forgot I don't have feather. Threw me in the ass. Yo, back off, back off. I don't want to fight. Oh, damn it, wrong button. Oh, I forgot they have the puppetry bullshit. Because they usually they usually do it on Braille, so I don't notice it when it happens to me. I for constantly forget how hard they hit. Ugh. Well, that seems to be the end of it for now. At least I sure hope so. Now that we have some breathing room, let's look around a little more. I'll examine this poor soul one one more time. I feel like there's something we're missing, but I can't put my fingers on what it could be. There's no telling what we might discover, so if you take a look at the other corpse here, we can find finish this unpleasant business that much quicker, Ursulif. Um do I have potions? These are the same, right? That's the other one? That's the poor recovery? I guess so. It hurts so hot, my strength has left me. As you approach, you feel someone thoughtful on you. It wasn't supposed to end like this. You didn't find anything notable. This is so sad. It's all over. Everything I done, all for nothing. I'll probably never make it out here alive. Don't worry. I will avenge you. I just wanted to see them again. That was it. So why? Couldn't find anything notable. Go and tell Braille. A voice crack. Ursif, look here. This must be the little chick that Ghost was talking about. I think it could have been enchanted with some sort of protective magic that kept it from being noticed. Seems like some time... Since it has passed, the poor thing, and all along, it's stuck by its master. God damn it, fuck me! Why? I knew it. I fucking called it. That's so bullshit. You know what? Fuck this guy. Look. I don't know why. Human lives, I'm like, oh man, that's sad. Animal lives, I'm like, fuck him! That's like 100 for me. Also, it's stuck by his master's side. Reminds me of Avatar The Last Airbender. You know how when Roshi's trying to stop the volcano, his friend abandoned him. And then he, the dragon's trying to save him, but he tells the dragon to leave, leave me. And then the dragon just rushes in and lays by, lays uh, by his side and dies with him. That is so sad. That is loyalty. As much as I want to recover the remains of everyone here so we can give them a proper burial, I'm afraid we'll be drawn into more fights if we linger here. It's sad, but at the very least, we should bring it back. Come on, we have to tell the ghost what became of the little chickpea. Ryo trembles as she gently lifts the little chick's body and claps it in her chest. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck this guy. I hope, I hope they die the worst death possible. 
Deliver the news to Chickpea's fate to the ghost waiting outside. That poor little chick. And, and it's sad. It just dies next to its uh, its owner's body. Its master's body. And they didn't even notice it. it like, it could have had a happy life. It couldn't escape. Because it had invisibility magic or some kind of magic that makes it not noticeable. So it could have lived honestly. Whether it would have made it out or not, it doesn't matter. It had a chance. But it didn't take that chance. It just decided... My friend died here, or my owner died here, the person I love. I guess I'll die here too, and then just lay there and died. That's terrible. I, I would have been happy if that chick got out. It was like, you know what? Through this place, I'm going to get revenge. I'm going to create an army of, what? Was those chickens from Zelda Cuckoos? And invade this castle. I could see it. I believe it. It'll be like the Great Ostrich, uh, what? The Great Ostrich? Ostrich War. <laughs> where, where they tried to take out the ostrich, but the ostrich won in the end. So it's, it's wild. Ah, you're back. Did you find my little chickpea? You relay what happened to the chickpea, to the trembling ghost. I say, listen, the ghost slumps forward, hanging its head in grief. I see. Oh, Chickpea, you poor, foolish thing. You could have escaped. The trembling ghost stares vacantly into the distance before slowly speaking again. The castle is crowned with foulest specimen of man and beast I ever encounter. I know it can't have been easy to get inside. Thank you for risking your much to discover what became a poor Chickpea. I think I finally leave this place in peace now. Back, I should hurry. Chickpea must be peeping away, waiting for me to come. Damn it. The ghost holds out an old looking pendant, placing it gently in your palms. Thank you, Ursa. Here is the trinket I spoke of. It's one of those old locket you can put a small picture inside. I may have found it discarded atop a rubbish heap, but it just didn't seem like trash to me. I held onto it all this time in case its owner ever came looking for it. I hope you find the value in it in, in that I always figure it had. And thank you again for me and Chickpea. The ghost gives you a long bow and thanks for your help. Return to Brielle and show her the pendant and you receive from the ghost. Yo, there's no redemptions for these people. They get, they gotta go. They gotta die. I'm sorry. Sure, Irusa might be have some redemption at the end. Be like, oh, I mean, and then it'll be me who's petty as hell. I'll be like, no, fuck that. I know I'm a terrible person, but I say that all the time. I will kick that kid off the cliff. But, uh. Rio and Gillock beams at you with accomplishment, seeming to wrap up their preparation just in time. Well, that didn't take long. Gilak is just putting the finishing touches on the preparation for the ritual. You hand over the pendant and re you receive from the ghost, and Braille eagerly begins inspecting it. Hmm, it's not as good condition as I hope. I see the service damage in several places, and while it's definitely a locket, like a ghost said, there's no picture in this. I'm not sure if we'll be able to draw out a complete memory from this. That may be true, but all we can do is hope that there's an intact memory floating around somewhere in there. Braille seems to worry as she analyzes the pendant. Finally, she looks up to address you. Ursula, are you ready? Yes, let's go. Again, Brielle recites the incantation and faint light begins to seep from the old pendant. You know the drill. This is going to feel a little weird like last time. If you start to feel dizzy, just hold on to my hand. Sense of weightlessness washes over you as, as the chalky light swirls around you. And then... Upon oh my god, my eyes. Upon entering the memory cipher, a hazy feeling washes over you once again. Your fogginess gradually clears from your brain, but this time Briella's voice sounds uh, tiny and far away, and your vision is awash in red. It's hard to see. You feel altogether out of sort. God, why? What the hell is this feeling? End conversation. It can, after all. That which impedes our way must be eliminated. All right, so beat the hell out of this thing. Oh, you can hot keep potions now. Oh, that's cool. Ah. Uh. 
You all deserve every bit of that you hear and more besides. What on earth is this feeling? Guilt? Gratification in this power? Unchosen one, your power has been made manifest. It's not unlike my own, but it's more than enough. The voice you heard in Iris' son's memory seems to reverberate through the air. Who are you? Speak plainly and show yourself. I am that which can guide those who have lost their way. Volon. In the world to come, I shall grant you power over Dark Erg. Okay. What? How do, I, how do you know? It is what you desire. Yes, you have but to follow my voice. Who are you? Answer me. Take refuge within the darkened cannon and the earth collapse. Your vision begins to blur. Once again, your vision grows more and more dis distorted as the strange beckoning voice trails off. Uh, please. Uh, please. As Fallen's memory grows hazy, the sound braille's coming on your name becomes clearer. Uh, I got through. What a relief. I was starting to get really worried. I think the memories materialized in an unstable state because the pendant itself was in poor condition. That makes sense. I'm, s I'm not being sarcastic. I'm so sorry. You wouldn't have had such an uncomfortable time if, if I'd only been more careful. I don't think uh, it's safe to remain here any longer. Let's return to the camp. Girl grasps your hand tightly, purring to bring you back, with a sap of her fingers when suddenly... The man started standing far in the distance turns to face you. First you came unwelcome into my castle. Now you trespass in my, in my memories himself? How is this possible? We're viewing a memory. He shouldn't be able to see us. Is it like that Star Wars moment when the dude sees you while you're in the a memory using the echo sense? Ha 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 ha. The space around you contorts violently and a wave of powerful nausea washes over you. It's no matter what do you think you accomplish. You. Yeah, no. And struggle. I, I have to protect all you like. I, ha I have to protect and your effort will still amount to nothing. Bah ha ha. Oh no, my mana is almost gone. We have to get back before the memory collapses. After several seconds that felt far longer, Brielle finally regains enough control to end the me memory with a snap of her finger. Your vision blurs, and then you feel the stony ground on Crombass beneath you once again. Quest Objective 4 Sleeves Wet with Bloody Tears Complete. Do I have to complete this? Nope, I don't. You find yourself short of breath, panting raggedly as you try to recover from the disorientation of the incomplete memory you witness. Turning to Braille, you find her wheezing as she looks at you. Ah, well, let's not do that again, Ursula. I was already concerned that the pendant poor condition might have a destabilizing effect on the memories within it, but that was even worse than I thought. If we stayed a moment longer, the memory will collapse in, in on us. Your luck looks back and forth between you and Braille, obviously concerned about your condition. Your breathing was so ragged when you first re-emerged that I was worried. You might pass out from lack of air. Are you certain you're all right, Braille? You look so pallid. We were attacked by that man, trying to fend him off while keeping the memory stable. Drain me of all my mana, so it'll take some time to recover. Fortunately, I was at least able to keep Ursula safe, so I'm glad for that. You were attacked inside the memory field? How is that even possible? Braille waves your luck away, clearing and needing a moment to recover. While pondering what just happened, smoothing her disheveled hair with one hand, she looks towards you. Okay, just to make sure we're all on the same page, uh, same page let's just recap what happened. To start, in the memory we witnessed just now, that was definitely the man we saw before. Seems to be from a younger time, but I'm almost certain it was him. From what we heard, it sounded like his name is Fol Folum? Gulak, who has been silently listening to Braille, tilt his head and ponders to himself. Here's that Fallum heard that strange voice, just like Iru-san did. Up to now, I had presumed that was his voice, but now, it sounds like this voice is what led Iru-san and Fallum here in the first place, like I was whispering to them to prepare something. I remember them saying that the preparation was almost complete. Oh wait, is it to summon the being? Is it the Incubus King, you think? I don't know why I kept throwing that out there, but it was brought up in like... In... I forgot her name. Ir I said Irwin? Irwin's backstory. So I'm like, this guy pops up eventually. Wait. 
Is it possible that Ilata is also the son of the Incubus King and the Goddess? Because you, you I, I don't know, maybe the, maybe she didn't have relationship with any Incubus, but it was the King, and that's how he came to be. And then the Incubus King had it with a normal human woman, and that's how Irwin came to be. We may uh, not have much time to waste. Real nods in agreement with Krillak. That seems likely, but there's still too much we don't know. Certainly does, doesn't help that I got drained of all my mana as the worst possible time. Briel falls into deep thought as she continues pondering in silence. Elok speaks up. Seeing as we're short on time, how about we split up our information gathering and cast on an investigation? On that information side, our goal is to find memory fragment related to Crombass. As for the exploratory duties, I think we ought to focus on our entry on charting clear pathways so that each new sorting might allow us to delve further inside. Briel, I think you have to take charge of gathering and analyzing information, especially in light of your current condition. That leaves Ursula to head up all subsequent foray into the castle. But I can't deny you on, on the point. You have a point, Gilak, but there's no way we could just send Ursula into those forsaken halls alone. Rail protests her concerns, evident to her voice, but Gilak firmly cuts her off. I understand where you're coming from, Braille, but sometimes you just have to face the facts. You're going to be dead weight if you venture into the castle with Ursula before you recover your mana. I understand I really do, not being well per enough to accommodate Ursula. Isn't there mana potion in this world? Can't you just drink mana potions? In such an uncertain situation, I feel maddening, perhaps downright unfair, but I feel we can do more for Ursula by fulfilling our present responsibilities to aid the Esther in the investigation and continue preparing the ritual to view more memories. But Pilak, sending herself in alone is just... Perhaps our concern for you, Braille, seems hesitant to stay behind, even after Gilak heartfelt appeals. Gently puts, gently pat Brielle on the shoulders. You gently pat Brielle's, uh, Brielle's shoulders, touched by her concern for you. <sighs> if only I re remain more alert to the dangers. Brielle draws near, gently collapsing your hands. Ursa, I don't like having to send you into a place alone one bit, but if that's how you really feel, I won't stop you. While you press on, I'll remain here, making sure we collect every scrap of useful information, like Gilak said. I promise to train as hard as I can so I can accompany, accompany you if something like this should ever happen again. Alright friends, listen up, here's our plan. Uh, Gilak and I will start compelling all the information we can find related to Crom Bass. Ursula will continue to make foray into the castle to investigate, and we'll meet up to discuss anything they find there. As for entering the castle goes, I can still help with that. Above all, take care of yourself out there and remember to tell me or Gilak if you run into any trouble. Please be conscious while exploring the castle, Ursula. I'll do whatever I can to help. Briel and Gilak wish you well and was sure to be a challenging endeavor. As Briel and Gilak suggest that you should enter Crombass and see if you can find anything inside and might further your investigation. Press on into the depth of Crombass as far as you can and see what you can find. You can enter Crombass with Briel's help. Alright, so is this like a story mission or is it like we do it for real real this time, you think? Fight and defeat Iru's son. Damn, so wait, do I have to do it? Hold on, let me look this up. Oh. Alright, so yes, you do have to. God damn it, this sucks.
But I guess I can maybe hopefully try someone to carry me. Or I, I guess I can try solo. And then if I need someone to carry me, I can just do that. But anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.